here. All right, welcome back to the Mantree Podcast. I'm your host, Reggie Milligan, co-founder at Mantree. This podcast is all about helping you cook better. We do it audio so you can throw it on while you're commuting, while you're cleaning, while you're on the go, so that when you get back into the kitchen, you're just a little bit more ready to get after it. So today it's burger day. Everybody loves a good burger, and we're covering six tips for making the best burgers ever. So let's just preface this by saying, if you really want to dive into burger making, burger tips, there's obviously endless stuff if you Google, but what we've tried to do is pull out just six of the key tips that are going to have a big impact on the quality of your burger. So if you want to go off the deep end into a deep dive of burger tips, get on Google. There's tons of stuff out there, but we tried to give you the shortened Spark Notes version. So here we go. Number one, always fresh ground beef. This is a game changer. Just completely avoid frozen. As a lo- As we've said on this podcast before, a lot of making something great is about just not making something that sucks. And anytime you start with frozen meat, your burger is just going to be in inferior. Specifically, any decent butcher shop will have a great house burger blend, or you can grind your burger meat at home with a simple hand crank meat grinder. You can also use a food processor if you chop up meat fine enough and you have a decent food processor. And by going to a butcher, having them grind your meat or doing it at home, you can actually play with the blends. And in general, using ground chuck is a really good base for a great burger. And it's a nice balance between fat and flavor. But if you want to get fancy, you can throw some short rib in, you can throw some brisket in. And again, you can have a bit of a dialogue with your butcher about how you can blend a burger to what you're looking for. And they'll have some great tips. So always, always use fresh ground beef and have some fun investigating a blend, different cuts of the beef, different cuts of the animal so you can get your own personal mixture that is your signature burger. One other tip comes from Sean Brock and that is number two on this list, the Sean Brock bacon tip. Quote, When grinding your own beef for burgers, grind in some bacon. So Sean is a very acclaimed chef down at Husk in Charleston. He also owns McCready's. He is a steward of Southern cooking, cookbook author, one of the country's best chefs. Love this tip for just grinding in bacon into your burger. It just adds like good saltiness, gives it that like unctuous uh, depth. And it's a really nice little bit of fat in there to throw in with regular ground beef. The third tip, and hearkening back to the blend idea, if you can't remember anything about the type of meat to make out of a burger, just remember the 20% fat rule. So if you're buying, if you're grinding burgers for yourself or having the butcher do it again, a simple rule of thumb is to have a ratio of 80% lean beef to 20% fat. So The first three tips, generally speaking, just want to avoid the pre-ground, like saran-wrapped supermarket stuff. Just try and seek out a good butcher or do it at home, and you'll be well on your way. Because so much of a burger is the meat, so that's why we dedicated the first three tips to the meat. Number four, this is an awesome tip from Iron Chef Bobby Flay. He's made a couple burgers or two. He used to have this cool show on the Food Network called Boy Meets Grill, I think. Super underrated show. I don't know what happened to it, but it was pretty awesome. And he says, quote, Using your thumb, make a deep depression in the center of each patty to keep the burger from puffing up and bulging in the center. Otherwise, it plumps up like a football and people smash it down. That's the last thing you want to do, Flay says. This technique fakes out the burger, he says. 
and the patty ends up taking the exact shape you want. So by putting a little indent in the top of your patty, it's actually gonna come out that nice uniform puck shape that you want. Instead of kind of becoming a ball that it kind of sits in the middle of the two buns awkwardly and it and it doesn't have that structure to it, right? You don't want like a rounded top and a rounded bottom. You want it to be flat. So a little indent with your thumb will prevent that. A really crucial tip that a lot of people don't know about and all it literally is is a thumbprint. Number five, have a heavy hand with the salt and pepper. I know people are all concerned about sodium intake and all this stuff, but the key to bringing out the full flavor of meat and developing a satisfying crust on a burger is to season liberally. We love kosher salt, diamond crystal kosher salt we've covered before. It's a really great brand, diamond crystal kosher salt. And a little bit of fresh cracked pepper and just make sure you season right before it goes on the grill. If you season too early, it's going to dry it out the patty. It's going to make it so it actually isn't sort of like a nice crumbly uh, uniform looser texture in the middle. It's going to kind of go more like a like a hockey puck. It's going to see it, it's going to be a little bit more rubbery if you season too early. So just season right before you go to the grill and season liberty. A lot of the salt and pepper is going to fall off. Um, it's really, really, really meat can take a lot of seasoning. If you saw how much seasoning went on a steak, for example, in like a fine dining restaurant, you'd be surprised. And don't be concerned by how much you're putting on. Meat can take a lot of seasoning really liberal, like 10, 20, 30% more than you really think you need. It's super key to bring out the flavor of burger because an under seasoned burger is the number one mistake people make with their patty is they just don't add enough salt. They do a little pinch, they do a little sprinkle. And like beef just needs that. Beef needs that extra salt and that extra cracked fresh pepper. So heavy handed with the salt, season right on the outside make sure you focus on each patty when you're seasoning it like go right to the edge flip it do all surfaces don't kind of do the like sprinkle high above on all six patties at once really just focus on each patty pick it up make sure you're getting all sides of it before you hit it on the heat and number six your friend is grapeseed oil plus cast iron so a zipping hot cast iron can get the perfect crust for your burger a little grapeseed oil or canola, even if you don't have grapeseed oil, has a very high smoke point so you can get the pan nice and hot. A hot cast iron pan is key for getting that dark, dark caramelization on the outside of a burger. That's what makes in and out burgers, Shake Shack, when you talk about some of the great burger joints in America, it's what makes those burgers so special is they get that caramelization. The French call it the Maillard reaction, where the proteins in the meat is caramelizing against that skillet. Now, the grill is great if you want to impart some smoke flavor, but if you're looking for a great cut crust, go with cast iron and let that thing get nice and hot. You don't need a lot of grape or canola oil in there, grapeseed oil or canola oil in there. You just need enough to kind of lubricate it, but a little bit goes a long way. So get the cast iron zipping hot and really let that crust develop by letting the burger sit on the side you put it down for like a minute or two, really let it go a little bit longer even than you think. When you sort of feel like you're getting nervous, oh, I might be burning it. Don't worry, let it keep going. It's really hard to burn beef within reason. So that is the key to developing a good crust in a cast iron. That is the six tips for making the best burgers ever. A quick review. One, always fresh ground beef. Get to know your butcher or do it at home. The old hand crank grinder, you can find them on Amazon. Number two, we love Sean Brock's bacon tip. When grinding your own beef or burgers, grind in some bacon. Number three, if anything, remember the 20% fat rule in your burger blend. 
a mix of 80% lean to 20% fat. Number four, indent the top, that great tip from Bobby Flay, to make sure that your patty stays a nice uniform shape. Number five, have a heavy hand with the salt and pepper, season liberally. And number six, grapeseed plus cast iron will get you that awesome crust. So that's it. Those are our six tips. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this, share it. We'll be back again with more simple tips and hints that you can use in the kitchen. Thank you so much for listening and good luck cooking up there.